Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our here adventure through uh, Mass Effect. Last time we went and journeyed all the hell around the Citadel, doing side quests and a bit of main quest, and now we have finally unlocked the ability to go forth into the unknown. But I'm gonna go gonna quickly check out my diddly dee because what I'll probably do is go to Artemis Tau, find Liara Sony, to Sony. We're gonna go to the Artemis Tau cluster and find her because I do believe that she's the final team member because I decided, hey, you know what, I'm gonna go and do some, do some gambling at the Quasara, Kisara diddly D fake 20 thingy and uh, while I was stuck in my crew I was just like oh yeah there's one missing person the person that we're gonna probably be looking for so we're gonna go to the Tau cluster supposedly constructed by the long extinct Prometh Prometheans completely wrong series long extinct Protheans. This colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. Total length open. <laughs> Diameter, population, 13.2 million, not including keepers. Gross weight, 7.11 billion metric tons. Whoa, this feels weird. Uh, can I only select the Citadel? I guess I can only select the Citadel. I guess I have to go maybe talk- well, I don't know. Ah, there we go. We can zoom a bit more out. <laughs> Argos Row, Exodus Cluster, Artemis Tau, Hades Gamma. Wonder if I have to like jump through different places. From the looks of it, it is. Hmm. Well, I have just. Ha I do have a save. So if it is like, you have to do things in order, like if you jump, if you want to jump to here, you have to jump here, 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 and do stuff, and, uh, but we'll see. Nope, it's just, uh, Macedon, Athens, Kenosis, and Sparta. I guess let's start with Sparta. Well, I can't, uh, like... Select it? Well. Uh, let's start with Sparta. Go travel. Hopefully I'll be able to actually read about the places there once we're in the sector, much like we could read about the Citadel. still find it hilarious that we're just traveling by frickin' guns. Oh! Sparta is a system. I guess that makes sense. Let's see. The farthest one out. Small distant Alsages. Alsages? I don't know. Is a small terrestrial with a trace atmosphere of methane and argon. The surface is composed of water, ice, and calcium with occasional deposits of light metals. During the Alliance Pirate Suppression Campaign in the 2160s, the Batarian Eluium Ran Pera was caught with his frigate Tunnerin grounded on all sages for drive discharge. When challenged by the cruiser Hyderabad, uh, Ranpera refused to surrender. The Tunnerin was destroyed, attempting to take off. The debris is strewn across the southern hemisphere. I guess survey. Rare element surveyed. Scans from orbit have detected small deposit of plutonium. 
Anta... Anta Malka is a large hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and sulfur in the atmosphere. Its massive gravity well tugs many asteroids from the outer belt inwards past the orbit of Altaya and Edelus, and eventually settle in the inner belt. On Tamalka's orbit is congested with hundreds of captured moons. Most last only a few thousand years before being ejected, dragged down into the atmosphere, or ripped apart by tidal forces, and added to the gas giant's immense rings. Attempting to navigate this chaotic environment is hazardous at best. Ships without military-grade kinetic barriers are likely to suffer catastrophic impacts. Gas deposit survey scans from orbit have detected a large concentration of hydrogen. I suppose it makes sense. It's a gas giant. Edelus. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. We won't go there just yet, but remember, Edelus is important. Edelus is a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Edelus's surface is covered by wide deserts of silicate sand with only a few areas of igneous rock highlands to break the abrasive, dust-choked wind. Edelus's orbit is congested of debris thrown inwards by the gravity of the gas giant Antomalka. Due to high rate of meteor impacts, exploration is highly dangerous. Alright, I'll take note of you. You are important. Thing there. I can't <laughs> do this one. Tremener, if I don't know, is a dwarf planet composed of light magnesium silicates with deposits of aluminum. Its surface is covered by wide swaths of ancient dark basaltic lava, possibly indicating the world was created through an impact of some other body in the system. Tremener's magnetic field is not existent. This makes it impossible for ships to dump drive charge from orbit. Thus, that said, Tremener's minuscule gravity allows even cruiser sized vessels to land safely for direct grounding. But I can't scan it. Altaya. Can't scan this one either. Altaya is an unusually large terrestrial world with a trace atmosphere of methane and ammonia. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of sandstone and other sedimentary rocks with deposits of iron and chlorides. Judging by the sedimentary composition of the crust, it appears that Altaya once possessed an atmosphere thick enough to support some form of liquid. What cataclysm stripped the atmosphere and left the planet to freeze is not currently known. And I guess let's head to Edelus. Of course it would be in Sparta. Land time. I don't have to worry about any kind of, uh, bibbidi-bop. Garrus, tally with me. Now <laughs> we're just gonna throw. Throw our dealie. Debris, anomaly, anomaly. I will make note of that. As I look around, I see you. Oh, that's a shoot. Can I do anything with this? If I remember correctly, I heard that people did not like this mode of the game. Uh, time will tell. Apparently they just, over the games, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, they just slowly but surely kind of cut down on planetary diddly dee. go to options, because I want to see if I can, uh, 
Key bindings. General. Combat. Vehicle. Shoot. Fire. Aim. Change zoom power. Repair. Jump jets. Boosters. Exit vehicle. And leave world. Okay. Uh, so Q is my leave diddly D. Because I can save over this now. Survey material. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of palladium. Alright, that's how we do things in this game, apparently. We'll have to be careful because we also have to repair, but I guess we'll get out now that we know that we can get out. This is probably our, well, I don't know. I have no idea what tutorials this game would give on various things. But we'll get out and inspect this if possible. thing with this. Let's see, we found that. I guess we'll continue diddly deeing about this full area. Because I want to get everything! Screen shaking's a bit silly. Basically, it seems simple enough. You see something of interest, go towards it. Aha. Like that. Though the controls of the Diddly D is a bit odd. Overall. I didn't expect that we'd actually get out on planets some reason when we're in this Heading out. survey the mineral light metal surveyed you have successfully surveyed a deposit not that big, all things considered. We'll go to the actual destinations on the map later. I want to look for everything. This mountainy terrain is going to kill me. I just know it. Just make sure there isn't anything in the corner. Because I just know there's got to be at least one dickish developer. It's like, hey, I'm going to put a, a deposit in the corner of the map. People are like, they would never do that. And then they do. And everything is a pain. At least they let you know, with big red hay, you, you can stop now. head around this way and kind of cover this side of the map that doesn't have objectives. While keeping an eye out for any potential rocks and stuff, they do seem a bit, like, noticeable, so... Yeah, the controls of this is so wonky. I wouldn't say unenjoyable. The character customization still holds that personal gripe of mine of being absolutely horrific 
yeah, com compared to the character customization of just like, I want to look at my character from certain angles, this is nothing. I can actually make the game do what I want to a degree, and it's not like, uh, sure it's a bit wonky, but it's not keeping me from doing what I want to do. At least not too much. I think I'm going the wrong way. There seemed to be a better position this way. At least it seems hard to flip my dune buggy. And here's the path up, I do believe. Or at least a path up. be rocks. Polonium. Gib. Rare element surveyed. And to think, I spent, I don't know, like 15 minutes playing gambling to be like, yay, I made a small increase in profit after having to pay in 200 credits with a maximum hard-to-get payout of 400 credits if you're lucky. Oftentimes, you just have to go, oh, I'll break even so I can try again with the random luck generator. No, apparently surveying is the way to go, at least for now. Hopefully I'm not doing anything terrible, like, Su Fu, you're supposed to get the Super Ultra diddly d quest done so you get maximum surveillance monies. This is an RPG. There are like five billion things that go on at any one time. Thank you for being like impossible to flip, doom buggy. So yeah, this area seems uh, off, so if we get to... let's see. If we can go over there, I'll stop myself, turn around, diddly d kind of worm my way back around. That way we just know this section is all cleared out of surveyables. And hopefully... Then again, this thing's a fucking gun. That, uh, I, 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 I just kind of forgot that this has a gun attached to it. Okay, that's blinding. So now I'm worried that we'll actually run into things that can kill. And then I'll place that back, and we will head towards the debris. While well, taking a look for any surveyables along the way. Honestly, this kind of makes me wish that there was better mapping, like UI elements, like I could carve out sections of it in a different color, being like, I've already been in this general area. There is nothing there. Honestly, I don't hate this so far. Granted, it is one planet, and it is already taking me quite a few minutes to go about and do things. And if we have to do this for every planet that we can go on, that could be nightmare. But uh, time will tell. Maybe I'll just jive with this. Maybe I'll just like this clunk a bit. I am the person that wants to play Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days for no reason. I wonder if I'm going like a inefficient route. It is, it is possible. Zoom. I do believe we've done that one. Yes, we have. There's our little blinky blink. And plus, it's on the UI right there. It's circled. We did it. We saved the day. We did it, Patrick. We saved the planet. Yes, 
yes, I know. It's interesting. You are intrigued. I am gonna save just to be safe. Because uh, this isn't just surveillance, this is a thing. Electronics too low! Wrong bloody button. Wrong bloody thing. Squad. What kind of electronics do we need? Alright then. I guess I'll have to... Let's see. How much to level up? Uh, just under a thousand to level up, so... Note to self, dump a lot into frickin' electronics, then. I'll be back, you probe bastard. Alright, then now we'll head over to that point of interest. As I've been severely... This probe denies me. Hello, purple fire kitty. We are going through Mass Effect right now. Tumbling along with the weird clunky moon buggy controls. And being spurned by space probes. The electronic skill is too low. Just wait until I come back and tune your into scrap metal, you little bastard. Inanimate object. Proclaim me to be too dumb. How dare. But otherwise, we're just looking for things to survey. Metal deposits, thing deposits, getting money and experience. That looks to be alive. Hope it doesn't kill. <laughs> you think you started a thing in the egg pack? Eh, it's pretty easy to start things in the egg pack sometimes. You exist? Now your name is like a meme. Alliance Marine is dead. Oh, oh boy. This is not good. Strafe souls. Gone, trimmers. I know the the, the strengths of Kevin Bacon. Bastard. Oh, it died super quickly. Huh, did not think it would die that quick. All right, the controls are very weird. Damn probe. How dare you mock me with your existence? Kill the tremors once more! Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to set the map again. Eh. We will kill the thing. Look at the dead bodies. Perhaps do a side quest. Save the day. We are Commander Shepard. Bouncing along in our moon buggy. I wonder what, like, a system of planets they expected you to go to first. Because this does not feel like it. <laughs> Made the comment, you just want to announce your presence of violence. Yeah, that seems to be an egg pack thing. Proclaim violence. Need to dodge damage. Dang it. I hate that our main cannon is so slow. Or apparently just doesn't like being shot when we're doing anything else. That's annoying. 
dodge. Probably should have saved when I got closer. Come on, you bastard. I kind of wish this thing was more maneuverable. Because this is honestly kind of ass, combat-wise. Dodge, it spurts. So much Omni Gel. And again, the movement with this thing is just terrible. That'll put me close to leveling up, I guess. Overall. Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. I wonder who put the distress beacon here. Anti-personnel incendiary. Huzzah. Looks next. like these men were under Admiral Kahoku's command. He'd want to know what happened here. Hopefully we'll be able to let him know. Well, what's this... Can we do anything with the beacon? Can we destroy it? Will not appear to be possible. Perhaps we can shoot it? Because if they were lured here by the distress beacon, I feel like we should be able to destroy it. It just feels like a thing you should be able to do. I keep forgetting the shift does not run. It says it's a point of interest, but I can't do anything with it, apparently. Maybe... Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it's just like... Uh... Yeah, maybe. I want to do things. I want to destroy you. How do I destroy it? Just lead the way. Don you mystical machine. It just feels like this is something you could do. But it's like, no, you don't get to do it. So now I'm... Oh, wait, there was maybe a thing. Or was it just one of you popping up in my peripheral? Hmm. All right, team, move away. I want to throw a grenade at it just in case. Here it comes. Lol, it's getting roundabout, roundabout. That amuses me. But does nothing. Very odd. Maybe the next part of the mission will be talk to Kohaku. And Kohaku will be like, track that distress beacon or investigate it or something. Who knows what the madness of this game demands. Well, now back to our regularly interrupted surveillance. We shall go a little bit this way, just in case. There might just be things this way. Let's see how we 
entering... Yeah, we're kind of in the range, so we shall mm, turn around and uh, looky loo. I wonder if I can upgrade this to do more damage in the future. That would be nice, but I highly doubt it for some reason. I just wish that you could actually control how it moved around a bit better for, like, you know, actual combat. With highly mobile, highly damaging enemies. Ah, we found another edge. Bizarre. Means our surveillance can go in a new direction. Looking for rocks, just about anything to maybe tip me over the edge. I might just shove. Ooh, I know what I'll do. If we get enough experience on this planet, I'll go back to the probe and ever so slightly level up my electronics until I can probe the probe. That way I can do it without having to just go all in. Unless it does demand all in, which would be horrifying. This next abomination thing will be more war, more death. I should probably save because I did fight a giant ugly bastard. And I would rather not do that again in case there's another ugly bastard over here. Mummified Solarian. And we knew this was here, how? Recover artifact. And I got lucky. ID tag recovered. You found Captain Mylan's identification tag. How it ended up here is impossible to know for sure. Alright. And that seems to be everything, so we'll quickly zoom around this area a bit before leaving the planet. Because that will be everything in our immediate area, I suppose. No idea why, it's just like, sir, we know there's something over there. It turns out to be a body. A space probe, sure. Perhaps, why not? A body? How do we know? A body that's like... Shadowed by mountains? How do we know? And that's everything. Away we go. Return to Normandy. How we fly away with this thing, I'll never know. Let's see if I can actually talk to people. It would be nice. Do I have to go back to the Citadel to turn in quests? Keep searching. Surveying you find. Missing Marines. Yep, return to Citadel Tower. Convert all junk. I wonder what that means. Don't really need Kessler's. And if we run into more abominations like that, we'll need all the Omni Gel we can for repairs. Yes, Commander? Carry on, Presley. 
Yes, sir. Doubt anybody will have anything to say about that. So... I guess we'll continue. Searching around. See anything? Nope, can't survey this. So, we shall zoom out. Head from Sparta to Macedon. This one has four planets. Porolon is an enormous terrestrial planet, half again the size of Earth. Despite its thick atmosphere, the weak output of Red Dwarf Macedon leaves its surface biting cold. The crust is mainly composed of silica, but significant deposits of iron and other industrial metals are present. These iodes, either iodes or loads, may prove rich enough to be profitably mined despite the high gravity. Matriarch's writings were covered. You were scanning the planet of Porlon when a strange signal came from orbit. Navigator Presley determined the signal was from an ancient beacon. Your salvage team brought the beacon aboard and found it's one of Matriarch Deliniga's writings in its storage compartment. Hmm. Alright, this is a land one. Warning, level one pressure hazard. I wonder what that means. Sure. Chargilla has a very dense atmosphere of ammonia and oxygen. Its temperature, temperate surface, is mainly composed of alumina, alumina with deposits of sulfur. Calm buoys in the system have recently logged a number of unresearched vessels operating nearby. Chargilla has an extensive silicon-based oxygen breathing uh, ecology. Heavily populated areas are covered with fine silica, silicon dioxide, dust that the uh, the res the resp respiratory byproduct of the world's higher animal forms. High-speed surface winds, often laden with abrasive silica dust, present a hazard. In areas where wind deposits a great deal of silica, footing can be dangerous. EVAs are d d discouraged. We will uh, maybe check out that one in just a little bit. Nothing on this planet. And while some of these are interesting... Gas deposit. Huzzah. Just want to leave them deleted. Make a new save. And then we'll head down to the pressure wor warning world. See what happens. I saved before. Once again, let's go. My go to team. Already I hear funky music. Level 1 hazard. There's an anomaly. A stronghold. So that's worrying. Just want to make sure that I don't miss anything. Like that. Like that specifically. More surveying. Ah, we just can't be out here too long. At least we get decent experience. Oh. Oh, that's good. For a moment, I was just like, wait, how did I get over there? It was not me. I'm gonna quickly set that. So, to the right we go. That way I can properly orient myself. I doubt we'll have mineral stuff right next to it. And since it's there, that way is probably very close to the edge, and we don't really care to go that way. Let's 
surveying, surveying. All the surveying of hazardous planets. Aha! Minerals. I was just about to turn away. Hopefully we don't have to actually climb this thing. But it's looking more and more like it. Alright, fine. We'll head to the way to actually climb this damnable beast. This is even how we find this damnable beast. We must Skyrim this m alien mountain. Even though I think this came out before Skyrim, the technique shall still work. The ancient writings tell me so. Oh, I'm in the out the, the bad place. Darn it. Go the way I want you to, space horse. Haha. <laughs> I'd say how we got here, we should uh, get more. But I shall not complain for long. <laughs> go. Hopefully more surveying won't be as mountain climby as that. very weird. The dust was going through the little thing. So it made it look like we were being transported to a new world of doom. And after we go there, we will kind of zigzag our way around, not go to you immediately, and head to the debris. And pray that we be able to actually do it properly. some reason I felt I could actually do something with you, but I forgot the game will actually say if we can or not. I find it hilarious, that small bit of debris messed up the camera. Ah, that's what we're looking for. Dang it. But that works. Matriarch's writings recovered. It's not clear who lived here, but it appears to have been abandoned for some time. The container in the tent held, among other things, one of Matriarch's, Matriarch Dillinga's uh, writings. Darn the mountain. Darn the controls. I kind of don't want to give up my mountain position in the offhand chance that we are in a good position for when we get to the materials, but luckily it's just down here. Yay. Give me that material. Give me that mineral. Let's 
see. Very near to leveling up, so we can go back to Sparta and do things. Locate signs of battle. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see. It's always nice to kind of be close to the border so that you don't have to worry about zigzagging too much. But there is an outpost. So I'll definitely save. Out of fear. Because they'll probably want to kill us. That is a lot of bogeys. See if we can get like up on a mountain top and snipe them with our guns. I freaking write yourself more. for all. Quit making noise. We annihilated the majority of them, so we should be able to get close. I'm gonna save my points for when we get near the pro proper. over dudes. GTA. Securing point. Oh, we can go in. again and handle that better I'll still get into a nice sniping position now that I know that the pirates aren't all that scary at least when I have the vehicle inside is a different matter this is the first time we've had super combat outside of more tutorial area. Right. 
new save. Now that we've cleared the land site, at least. I believe... You can use medium armor. Huzzah. And... Uh, da, 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 da. One inch shotgun. Shield bonus, but less med recharge. And we don't have mean any medium armor for you. Oh, now that we've done that, once more save. And we'll head in. them come to us. Move up and stay out of worry. We actually get into yeah positions. get into proper positions. Oh. Dang it. So it's probably somewhere. At least we cleared out the majority of them. Regroup! Well, uh, well what I said. Goodbye, slaver. Negative contacts, Commander. And if there's no contacts, we can be in the nice and clear. Hmm. Oh, that's a big explosive. I thought maybe it would be a thing I could actually like do something with. <laughs> Skill too low, decryption. Darn. You have discovered evidence that the Asari leading these slavers and Nasana Dantius is an important ambassador on the Citadel. Our sisters! You should turn to the Presidium and confront Nasana of this. Wow, we just stumbled upon this. Uh, keep everything.
Take all. Recoil combat sensor. Reminds me. And since you're going to be built into shotguns, let's see. Is there a good shotgun for you? Apparently a scimitar isn't too bad. You can have a recoil dampener. An anti-personnel. I'm just saddened that I don't have good Dibbity D. But I want to open it. Yeah, we need more decryption. But it'll be a bit of a way before I can get more decryption up. I'll have to take a note of this place. Come back later. I probably should have uh, looked at my team a bit more close. Well, then again, can I change things? Nope, I cannot. Undo talent points, but I cannot. Even though I want to, the game says no. Open crate. I got medium armor, a shotgun, a pistol, some heavy armor Krogan, assault rifle and shotgun, sniper rifle and pistol. Ah, easy decryption. Gib. Ooh, new things. Chameleon tool. Tech cooldown bonus. But still not as good as other things. Ooh. Apparently this here Reaper is really good. And you can just transfer upgrades? Thank you, game. Jesus, this is amazing. A one <laughs> heat sink capacity one seconds. Uh, you can have an edge three. So. What kind of pistol do I have? I have a stinger. Versus an edge three. Well, I guess I'll take actually I'll take an edge three. And you can have the stinger. Since we're going to build you into shotguns, let's see if we got a good... Scimitar 3, have, give, yes. You may have that, yes. Meanwhile, the Scimitar 2. Sure, you have that. Yeah, we'll definitely have to take note of this place that this place is not fully done because I do not have everything. Hammerhead rounds and radioactive rounds. I don't think radiation in a bullet is going to be all that much more deadly than the bullet. Just 
I don't think. And we're gonna go to the debris now. As we continue looking for more things to survey, I guess. Perhaps. As I wibble wobble around. Now, you know, we're safe to go down this way. Because we're at the edge. And the edge is important. Hopefully we don't just randomly run into another Tremors Graboid Worm out of nowhere. To the debris, Billy! Hopefully I'll be able to do something with this. Begin manual bypass. Ta-da! And with everything done, we'll just uh, zoom on by this area, take a look for any more surveyables. In fact, we'll just pop something down there so we have an easier destination to look to. So we don't just lose ourselves in madness. Okay, good. Just want to be right next to the border uh, for my mental safety. So I don't go, but what if there's something over there? Just a little bit more that's not being caught on our scanner. Huh. So we might have missed, like, one surveyable, perhaps. But while we're over here, we might as well take a look in this corner. So maybe that's the secret. There's actually surveyable in the corner. And they're like, ah, oh, nobody will look in the corner because we put a surveyable there. But from the looks of it, no. Nope, everything that easily found has been found. Let's leave. But again, the stronghold on M uh, Macedon is definitely there. I'll see if I can ask about the mission and see if there's any difference. Have things happened? Anything you need, Commander? Tactical appraisal. What's your opinion on I don't the see how we could have done. Yep. We were on the What's your opinion? We were on the scene fast. <laughs> Just Render. constantly asking the same thing. How do you think the last mission went? But Captain, Commander, uh, you already asked this question. What did you think of the last mission, Commander? Please go see the doctor. Go to the doctor and ask <laughs> about the last mission. Oh yeah. Chargilla is definitely, but uh, might as well go ahead and take a look at the one thing, see if we can actually electronic the the debris now, because I might as well. I want to know. I want to know. Take my alien squad that isn't Rex because he's a loose cannon. Press signal and it's still question marked for some reason.
Well, actually, it got re-question marked because when we left, it was just a point of interest icon. Weird. Definitely need to head more up. Well, actually, we just head that way on the way up. So much mountainous terrain. So much mountainous terrain that we have to deal with. At least it's not a pressure danger planet. Can I salvage now, Daddy? Ah, uh, we are one away. We were one away. We were one away. Which at least allows me to see. So, if we get four more, we'll be able to do hard. Alright. At least that lets me know. I actually looked at the, the little points of the thing. One more level up and I'll be able to do all the missing things so far, probably, maybe. Alright. Next to Athens. The Athens Quadrant. Ferris. Distant Ferris has only seen a, uh, a cursory examination by unmanned probe. It is a trace atmosphere of nitrogen, blah, blah, blah. Turian insignia recovered. Scans of the planet Pharos revealed an abandoned base on its moon. The recon team found nothing of interest, but much of the debris was marked with a magna colony insignia. Nothing of note here. This one's glowing. Gas deposit. Helium-3. But what about Helium-4? No surveyable. Survey! Gas deposit surveyed has a large amount of free oxygen. <laughs> it's free oxygen. What? There's... We can't land? Holy crap. I didn't think that this was possible. So yeah. Interesting. No landables. Or at least not yet, maybe. Well, I guess that doesn't bother me none. Then off we go to uh, Kenosis. Kenosos. Kenosos? Kenoses. Arcanes. Gas deposit. Nothing of note. Alright, we can land on Therum. Therum is a distant but rich industrial world claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. Its plentiful heavy metals have fueled the recent manufacturing boom on Earth. Core samples rich with fossils of simple silicon-based organisms indicate Therum was more habitable in the past than it is in present. Perhaps this explains the many Prophean ruins dotting the surface, most of which have been looted by mining corporations. Alright. Noted. You exist. Alright. To Therum we go. We'll save once we land. Although, from the looks of things, this place might not like us surveying things. Woot woot. Haha, <laughs> see. Commander, six. I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. 
It looks oh, like so. it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Oh. This is an actual thing. Like an actual thing. I <laughs> I thought it was going to be more open, but no, this is actually just a place. Like more place than other places. This is like a level instead of a random drop zone. Oh, I flipped the thing. At least I was able to use the turret to actually flip the thing from the looks of it. Either that or holding space. I don't like the noise that happened. The noise that happened uh, scare me. Probably just wind, but in space, can't trust it. Oh, enemy bogey on the radar. Whereabouts on the actual path? That's harder to tell. Hopefully, there's no lava worms. I'd like to not deal with what Again, just noise haunts me. Oh crap, there's... What the... I thought there was a worm. No, it's the Geth. I saw the big marker on the on the mini map. It's like, oh no, it's another worm. I turn around and I see the freaking Geth ship looming yonder, and I thought that it was a worm. Well, oh, there's something fucking big around the corner. Two something fuckings. Something to the side that's gonna be nasty. Trying to knock down the front door seems stupid. Maybe we can find the side window. Thank you, Tally. Why well, I thought exactly. See, Tally, this is why I bring you along. But at the same time. What the hell is that one? Can I just go off the beaten path a bit? Nope, invisible wall. Some something was shooting at me. Yay, level up. Exactly what I want. 
So now we can... Okay, that it does that. Now we can do hard objects. And hard decryption. Hell yeah. Go ahead and give you more shields. Uh, more first aid. And I'll give you some assault and assault rifle. give you advanced marksman. I love sniping with this thing. Come on, Geth. Come out and play. Hey. <laughs> ah, hidden deeper inside. Fine. somewhere get out of here begin override ah, another sniper rifle gate control we well, might as well open it Hopefully the Geth aren't trying to hijack our ride. It is our ride after all. A beautiful baby boy. Before we go anywhere, might as well head in there too. gonna keep active just in case the bastard decides to come out of hiding but I don't think he will an upgrade kit huzzah take all let's see tally go that you can keep a assault rifle because we're in for open fields long distance battles when we get back into close quarters we'll swap back to Shotgun. Granted, I'll keep my sniper because I'm an idiot. I I hate the driving controls of this damn thing. Geth, we are coming in. If you try to defend yourself while we kill you, we will only kill you harder. should stop using snipers for everything. All clear. Thank you for the second opinion there, Tally. We'll quickly check out the second building. Huh, a locked crate out in the open. I almost didn't find you. Begin override. Take all.
Take all. More dam- well, less damage, actually. Yeah. Now this one does more damage. Garrus, take the Avenger. Let's see, any good shotgun replacements? Looks of it, no. Any good pistols? Eh, just a higher striker. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, we're getting tons of money from all this. I didn't realize. I mean, yeah, I knew we were getting money, but I didn't realize we were making fat stacks. Because how many was that? How much was that? That is 19,000. We're almost at 20,000. Fat stacks indeed. I almost want to go back because there is still that enemy that's mocking us that way. I guess it could be over there though. If we don't run across it, we will backtrack until all bastards are dead, by the way, we're gonna save. Because I'm scared. Scared for my life. Nope, enemy on the track up ahead. Weirdo. Why is the, like, super cannon harder to hit with than a machine gun at that long a range? That's the real question. Any detours we need to be aware of coming up ahead? Not really. Wait, that looks like it might be a fake. You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. Well, don't have, like, places be a thing. But thank you for the recommendation, Joker. Commander out. Next. It's just a skybox element, but I did want to shoot at it. Where moving this is so wonky. It's like somewhat camera dependent. But eh. There's gonna be a cannon up ahead. Big bastard scares me. But big bastard is now gone. Luckily we don't have to loot things. I would hate this game if I had to actively go about and loot fallen enemies. I don't know why the map actually says, hey, this little divot that exists and looks more important on the map than it does in real life, yeah, it exists. Uh, you can just wipe that away. More geth up ahead. Hope they don't ambush us. Left 
think they might try to ambush us. This would be the perfect ambush spot, this tunnel. And again, maybe they're trying to snipe us outside. Why can't we just give Rex the cannon of the Mako? Just like, here, Rex, you can wield this. You mad bastard. Is this like a purely autonomous, like, refining place? Because seriously, where is, like, the 37,000 people that are reportedly exist on this planet? From the looks of things, the Geth only got here about after, well, no, there was that, uh, they did have time to kind of commandeer these places, but they're not fully Geth outposts, but they did have time to, like, set up turrets that are, like, Geth turrets. From the looks of things, they had enough time to set up Geth turrets and commandeer actual native infrastructure. Those are slow ass rockets. What the hell? Mako wanted to go for a fly. Mako was like, I love the free fall from orbit. Let me do it again. Yeesh. Jammed. Now looks like we have to go on on foot. Keep an eye out. We are in dangerous territory. Our sensors are jammed. And, uh, well, I guess our Mako was jammed. Now the music is jamming. Music is pretty good. Once again, why is there just like this little alcove that we can go to that leads nowhere? <laughs> like if it actually had like a box or something, I'd understand, but it doesn't. KDA.
How do they even get up there? Tally, where are you? Bundle up. On my way. Remember to stay hydrated. <laughs> well, remember to stay hydrated. Tally, where are you? Tally Ram. En route. Stuck on the fucking boat. The Don't game go. teleported, like uh, when it was just Caden and Ashley back on Eden Prime. It teleported people, but uh, we don't want to teleport Tally. And this is kind of annoying. Form up. Oh, now you decide to teleport. Wait, nope. Wait, what? Around to the end. There we go. Now we have the full team. That's very annoying that the AI pathing doesn't take the Mako into account. It should be, hmm. Like, shouldn't the game be able to tell the AI what the geometry is and how to get around it? It's just like, I feel like there should be some kind of AI workaround. So the AI, or like, hey, like, the, do what Caden did back on Eden Prime, where he was stuck on NPCs, and it's just like, hmm, he's being ordered, but for some reason cannot make it there. It seems unreasonable. Let us teleport him. Why can't you do that? But hey, at least we got that right. We fixed that. See, what I currently have is Harden Weave 1. I think I'm going to go with uh, armor plating. have first aid interfaces for everyone. I don't like the noise that just happened. Wait, where's Garrus? Garrus, for fuck's sake. AI. Okay, no. You stay. I sure do Copy. love having to babysit my AI. I'm gonna save again because I will definitely forget that Garrus is stuck between the barricades. I do not want to suffer. Oh, well, cutscene time. I already see that on the bottom of the bridge. Death Nightmare. Great, now we fight these things without the Mako. Oh, 
behind walls. Shotguns in this game. Shield Guest stalkers are annoying. Stalkers have gone away. Wait, what am I doing? I could just, uh... All the major pains are gone. Come out of hiding, Geth. Yeah, the stalkers were mad scary, but hey, everyone survived. Which is more than I can say about that pirate outpost that we raided. Garrus died there, and I'm not sure if you if characters die, they're gone. Because I'm not sure, like, uh, what difficulty they overall expect. I probably should have retreated to the high ground here. Probably. Should have done that. I hate that my uh, my health bar is green now. But uh, what can you do? I'm also down some grenades, but what can you do? Increases shield, so ooh, shield capacity. I love me some shield capacity. Spectre training, definitely. Unless you immediately restore your squads to fighting state after they've been knocked out in combat. Okay, that confirms it. Characters don't just out and out die. Infiltrator, relying on some increases damage done by tech mines, reduces everything on sniper rifles and stuff. First aid, increases squad healing, dampening. But I also should increase tactical armor. And probably electronics, yeah, now that we know that electronics is also tied to that stuff, it should be probably smart to raise electronics on all teammates. Oh no, the void. Now we have a long-ass tunnel to worry about. Look at me crab walk.
Yeah, your shield doesn't do jack if it's, like, not actually gonna protect you. Go ahead and get rid of the shield, just in case. Why do you all have rocket launchers? Oh, I thought you were dead. I feel like I want to destroy that shit to save. I don't want to be caught off by a bloody explosion that wasn't my doing. It looks like this cavern was around the ruin after it was built. Oh no. I wasn't- I thought this would deactivate that shield. I'm scared. You think we'd be on the lookout and ready because we're heading down into ruins of doom. Doomans. up because I feel like that's still like a thing that I could go through. Might just have to try and heal to get rid of the dibbity dab it toxin in my blood. Don't know why I'm facing differently from everybody else for this. But I am. see. It does say that I can go here, but it's probably a shield. Yep. Just wanted to make sure. Then I guess that other elevator will... Oh, maybe that's why. Why I faced a different direction. While I could still aim, and it was pointing away my weapon, I faced a different direction, and I stuck like that. Like my face. Kind of wish that it would go Just faster. Just lead the way. I will. I'm here if you need me. Kind of funny. Well, let's put that away because we have another elevator that I assume goes deeper. I guess kind of smart because they don't want to like put too much strain or whatever on a single elevator. Like so. Everybody off. Hello? Could somebody help me? Please? Hello, what happened? Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped, I need help. Hmm. We hear you. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Trap. How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! Yeah, it's been happening. I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! Mm. Benzia. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. Good to know. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. We'll find a way to free you. We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. 
I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed hmm. to. Stay calm. I was trapped in here. You we'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. I'll just have to kill them all. Decision to leave your shield. All targets down. All right. Holster weapons. We're going into excavation mode. Mining laser control. So then we're gonna try and mining laser that shield. But where's the Krogan? We haven't run into a Krogan yet. Lots of Geth. No Krogan. Take off. Bah, I'm dancing. The glitches in this game. Well, not glitches, but like programming and like just the oddities. <laughs> yeah, where the hell is the Krogan? He said there was a Krogan. I don't think we killed him. Maybe he's in the mining laser. I could see a Krogan be the... I want to be the best weapon. Put me in there. But fine, let's... The UI elements kind of bug out from time to time. Ah, we'll go deeper! Into a defunct part. But still, where the hell is the Krogan? Did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. It was not, it's not important. We have to get you out of here before more geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. Hope it doesn't just put us all into containment fields. There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? That Seren's could be a, for the yeah. conduit. Thank You're you, Dolly. You're an expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know. Krogan? Krogan time? What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. We need an escape plan. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. <laughs> Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. Make it four. He needs to move faster. Considering that there are defense mech uh, positions on this platform, I think we're gonna be in for a rude awakening.
Krogan. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. This ruin's coming down. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Had the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. <laughs> I'm not giving her up. She'll stay with us, thanks. I like the way. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. Not, doesn't matter. Pointing up, because I'm a fool. Then again, we don't really have an elevator to get to. Shaky Cam, in a video game, Shaky Cam! Close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding <laughs> volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? He saved us. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. <laughs> I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. Which is as good Saren as death. What did Saren with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50 years? How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. <laughs> only? Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I might know. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. Reapers. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. How do you know this? Where do you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. 
It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Who came before them? If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. So I'm guessing the Reapers are the Galactic the Reset and the Citadel are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. I can help you. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? The beacon. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacon she is believes me! To Yay! Information I'm not a lunatic! Into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, <laughs> this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. <laughs> I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. You can still help I us. don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Welcome aboard. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk later. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yes. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. She wants to help us. The air is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? <laughs> Disconnect. It was. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. And now I'll go talk to the crew. Navigator Presley. Yes, Commander. Carry on, Presley. He doesn't seem to have anything Yes, to sir. I picked up a random codex. Neat. Heat load monitor. Codex and experience. And leveling up. Now I can start leveling up my sniper rifles. 
Joker. Uh, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. <laughs> recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. Sure you want that? If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. That's a good point. They'd probably <laughs> make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. <laughs> so, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Ship status report. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she's she'd the be? She's the best ship that balances. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Just want to talk. I like to know my crew. <laughs> I get you top of my class in flight school. I earned that. All Didn't those common days. I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't you mean, even know you. Okay. You put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. I Just have to go. Have to. All right, see ya. I just wanted to talk to you, my boy. We have way too many personnel for a uh, for all the sleep pods that we have. At the same time, I don't even have a sleep pod in my own personal chamber. It's just a flat biscuit. What'd you think of the last mission? <laughs> Anything you need, Commander? Look, tactical appraisal. What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. Seems like a sweet girl. Easy on the eyes. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. Hmm. Do you? Any intentions there, Lieutenant? No, Commander. Just art appreciation. That's looking personal input. Just trying to get a Is sense of... Is this an official it. evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Speak your mind. Elenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. Really? This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get back up from the council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. Hmm, I hear you. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. That's all right. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain cam. <laughs> brain so cam. All dead is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. You doubt it was accidental. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero? Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shot. Outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. Friends. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Time to talk, then. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah. We'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl... Yay, network Mara, games! ...had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful. But not stuck up about it. I think you'd have liked her. Did you love her? Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. And finally, intentional exposure. 
considering I could see space corporations and governments being like, yes, expose the babies. Do you know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Man. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Sounds rough. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. <laughs> but that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. You can talk to me, you know. Elenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a... A whiner. Besides, I've got my past squared away. Just gonna make sure none of these you know, Shepherd's Locker. See if there's any other codexes that I can snag. Check out my personal quarters. I'll check out the doctor's quarters. The music that plays feels kind of intense. It's kind of the... Something mysterious is going on. We don't know. Ooh. Dr. Chakwas. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? No. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. How are you holding up? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I was worried. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... Don't mention it at all. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. <laughs> I know. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Hmm. Benezia. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. Hmm. You sound troubled. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. And, uh, Asari culture. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming Because that's why the Asari council person the is front and center. In galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Rumors? <laughs> like what? <gasps> what kind of rumors? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating <laughs> rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. How is that possible? I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Huh. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. <laughs> And what about the other parent? What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long-term. 
Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Hmm. And who is your father? Do you know who Matriarch Venezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Hmm. You don't know who? Venezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. Huh. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. That's an interesting Asari viewpoint. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pureblood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Venezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. You don't know that. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. <laughs> I hope my I father no of the union sure. died. Venezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Hmm. How do you deal with that? You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. And I think that's it. Thank you. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Very interesting. And of course, part of my brain is just like, well, if there's only one, if, if there's no second gender for your species, why do you have mammaries? And it's because they still need to grow normally. It's just that they conceive differently. So it actually kind of makes sense. Requisition, dude. Looking for supplies? Yes. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. You bet, Commander. You bet, Commander. You bet, Comboy. Ooh, I could get the super sniper rifle if I wanted to. Oh, uh, I almost wanna. I kinda wanna. I definitely. One second, dude. I'm going to mess around with the, the diddly dees. First, I'll check out my equipment. Alright. Liara, do we have any armor for you? Oh, you use human? You use human armor. Huh. I guess it makes sense. You are basically human typed. Guess it makes sense. But I don't think we'll take you on mission missions too often. Take a look at your armor. And this is worse for you. And again, probably not going to take you many places. Sure. I just want to look and see what it looks like. The UI is definitely freaking out. And I 
do not know why. Looking for supplies? Yes. Let's see what you bet, Commander. Because I kind of want... Oh, I can't even afford it because it's 300,000. For some reason, I missed a digit, so it doesn't even matter. For the future, I guess. For the future. I can get this. It is like a third my money, though. I'll need to look and see. Can I handle medium armor? I am three away from being medium armor. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you bet, Commander. But it does offer less tech and biotic by four, and has less shields. Guess I'll just go ahead and get that armor for me. I'm not sure. Quarium. I could afford it. I don't know. I need to quickly take a look at the codex. Quarian, Quarian. Alright. I'm gonna take a look at Tally's current. No. Tally's current armor. 54912. 54912. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you bet, Commander. Five. That's definitely better. Tally armor, ahoy! Here you go. Better armor, apparently. Commander, you have a minute to talk. Of course. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Because they're not Alliance. They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust aliens? You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. We need allies. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. <laughs> How cynical. You've got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. I'd fight that bear. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. Why do you feel that? These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. Military family. I never knew my family. Grew up an orphan on Earth. Anybody in your family I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. So why are you out here? Just trying to get away from Earth? To see space. No. The future of humanity is out here. 
There's so much we haven't seen yet. Yeah. I still remember my first field exercise on Titan. When we hit mud, the reality hit me. I'm the first person who ever stood here. Then my drill instructor kicked me in the ass. <laughs> I went face first into the muck. He spent the next five minutes chewing me out for gold bricking. <laughs> gold bricking? Don't tell me you had Gunny Ellison. <laughs> He's the only one I know who uses that word to describe shirking duty. Oh, Lord. You went to the Makapog boot camp, too? Yeah. Gunny Ellison's still reaming out recruits down there, kicking ass and using words like inveigle and pusillanimous. <laughs> and your service. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, sir. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the service garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. Hmm. You deserve better. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. Hmm. I understand your feelings. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think kissing Turians will be necessary. <laughs> you never know, Commander. How are we doing? What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I believe her. I think she's being straight with us. Or at least, I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, sir. Rex, what are your thoughts? I'm going to save before I talk because I probably should have done that. I probably should have saved quite a while ago. But I'm getting wrapped up talking to people and staying so, silent while we talk to people. We've got Saren on the run. Yes, we do. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good? He's rotten. To <laughs> the core. Wrong kind of good. I could tell as soon as I met him. You knew Saren. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. Ah, fair enough. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. Saren recruited you. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open. And he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What was he doing? What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Yeesh. Must have been serious. Cargo. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. Huh. And he's if working with the Geth. value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. And the ship itself? Whose ship was it? There was a Polis trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. And that's it? That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Hm, I see. So long, Rex. Shepard. Garrus. Commander, how are you? You and CSEC. Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? It's a good question. 
There were several reasons, I guess. <laughs> Such as? Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. I can un I can understand That's that. That's tough, but you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. A Spectre? You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. <laughs> I see. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, CSEC's rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. <laughs> not true. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. Having the ability to go above and beyond rules and regulation is just a nice little thing. It's a last resort. Being able to come out to the rim area and risk running into dangers, well, that's part of the point. Something I can do for you, Commander. Where else have you served, Adam? You name a class. My last assignment was on the token. Carry on, Adam. Aye, aye, Commander. Tell him. Oh, hello, Shepard. You sound down. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? It's too quiet to sleep? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits. You live your life on a kind of junker but fleet. It's more than just a Makes you feel that way. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. You're homesick. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. But you're going back, right? You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. <laughs> Goodbye. I should go. See you later. I like talking to the crew. Getting little bits of information on them. Let's see. Make sure I'm in my better armor of course my camo doesn't change sadness but now that we have uh, the ability to open hard and I think my shadow was yeah going up against the wall <laughs> but now that we have the ability for better decryption and technology we're going to head to back to Sparta and uh, the one place. Because we still have uh, places we can go. And I do believe that we checked out the other planets in this area. And they had nothing on them. Alright. Zoom out. We're heading to Sparta. So we can head back to the planet and mess with that uh, 
fallen satellite probe. And then we're going to go to the pirate way station. Come with me. We go to war. For a moment it looked like something hit our ship. But I think it was just a blazing trail of a meteorite through the atmosphere. Wise. Okay, that's a bit weird. And I got an achievement, I don't know what for. Probably for going to so many planets. Or just... Area map. Yeah. The fact that... I, I don't remember the map being this open worries me. Also, the distress beacon is no longer a question mark again. I don't want to go near it because it could be another worm and it scares me. Using this to get around and fight small things is fine. Fighting a moving target that does tons of damage, I do not like. Fighting turrets or a uh, smaller monstrosity is fine. Basically, I don't mind fighting the Geth with this. Normal monsters fear me, but the more that I play this game, the more I'm like, um, I'm going to end up buying Mass Effect Andromeda, aren't I? A lot of people slammed it, but I'm probably going to get it someday. Play it. It intrigues me. And plus, it'll probably be damn cheap. Once, <laughs> probably. Damn well better be able to be done, little probe. Begin manual bypass. Ah, oh, shit. That was close. Note to self. Hard decryption. Be hard. Definitely save before do. All right, we're gonna leave this. Head back to Macedon. And I think there was no like uh, landable in that one, the upper left, so we don't have to go to anywhere else. We have everything we need. But this does definitely feel like an upgraded, uh, kind of definitive version of their Star Wars The Knights of the Old Republic makeup. Being able to go to multiple planets, even if there's maybe not all that much on them. Yeah, sorry, capsule, diddly D. Head to the pirates. Hopefully they haven't respawned, but at the same time, maybe they'll give me a decent amount of money if they do respawn. <laughs> but in the end, we're just in there to get the hard decryptions of their stuff in their captain's quarters. After that, I think I'll head back to the council so we can finish the quest for Admiral Kohaku and uh, council lady who is, like, related to the pirate that was here. The Asari slaver. Into the building before the pressure gets too bad. No, nope, doesn't look like there is. Anybody respond? The silence is almost disconcerting. Wonder what we did with the bodies. Rex comes out, yeah, we just turned him into Omni Gel. Hard decryptions. Oh, we leveled up. I didn't realize. All right, well. What do you mean I can't? Oh, 
Oh, because everybody else still had points to put stuff in. Me fool. Definitely put more there. And more electronics. And now that we did that, I'll go ahead and save. Dang it. Moving the thing around is a bit weird. Just spam. Just spam. It's how it works. Yeah, moving this around is freaking weird. Oh, and it resets you there? That's terrible. Yeah, I hate that. I hate the override. Because <laughs> you basically have to do it from the bottom, or else you're just going to be ripping your hair out trying to move the freaking thing around again. What? Fuck you. I honestly hate this. This is so badly done. When it's just, okay, yeah, you do it instantly, fine. But it's just like going through, I guess that's why, uh, use Omnigel. Or, uh, make it not suck. Why is it so shitty to move? Fuck you. Why is it resetting to a dumb place? I hate it. Yeah, I hate this. This is badly designed. I hate it. This is definitely not made for computer, unless there's, like, a different way. Like, let me use my keyboard at this rate. You can. Okay, good. But still, this just sucks. I hate this. I do not like at all. Because I do believe that the tutorial was like, oh yes, use your mouse. And when the mouse is literally the worst way to do it. I hate you. The red coming out of nowhere. And lots of money. Works for me. But yeah, I hate that. <laughs> the decryption stuff is just way too wonky to do. Way too wonky, especially with a mouse. Keyboard, slightly better, but I do believe that you should reset the cursor to the last outer rim place that it was from. Else it's like, worthless. You can do that? I did not know. I did not know that you could clamber like that. But yeah, there's just something very off with doing it that way. But with this done, we have uh, cleared out this system. I feel like we can head out somewhere else. Hmm. Let me see. Let me check my journal. Insignias, Asari Diplomacy, Asari Writings, Signs of Battle. Valuable Minerals. Hostage. And the Hades Gamma Cluster. Unusual Reading. We'll take a look at this. A man named Garth in the Strenus system. Alright, Strenus system. Where is this? 
Exodus Cluster, Horsehead Nebula, Attica Beta. What? Alright, I'm gonna read that again. While traveling through the Strenus system. Go to the Strenus system. In the Horsehead Nebula. Okay. That's kind of in a main place. So we'll no speak to Kohaku. So that's done. Find the missing researchers in the Hades Gamma. Also Hades Gamma. So we'll go ahead and check out the Hades Gamma. And then probably head back. Well, actually... Hades Gamma, then we'll go Horsehead Nebula for the dude. Alright, this seems to be three places. Antia. Antaeus. Gun! We'll start on the Outer Rim and work our way in. Nothing on that one. Orbital period, 90 Earth years. Guess that makes sense. We can survey this planet. Rare element surveyed. Survey. Matriarch's writings recovered. You have re recovered a strange object orbiting Ploba. Chief Engineer Adams and Tally tried unsuccessfully to determine its origin. They did find one of Matriarch Deliniga's writings stored within. Gas deposit discovered. We can land there. Only after we take a look at this one, no survey. Alright, to Trevin we go. Basically a pseudo-Earth it looks like. My typical team, my team of teams. I want you to come along, because I like you. And you seem the most reasonable people on the, the team. Like, the good doctor and Cadian are up there, maybe. Alright, we'll... Head away from the anomaly this area, poke at the debris, and then go towards the anomaly. Which definitely means... Down this way. Already at the, the border. Nice. I like being able to cover large swaths of ground as much as possible. Without having to worry too much about the border. We'll head into the corner just a bit in case there's anything hiding. There is not. Part of me wonders if I should be reading more of the Dibbity Da. Huh? Ah. Well, ah, we can come over here. It looked like there was an enemy sighting, though. There was more red. We'll go to the debris and then head to that uh, Dibbity Da. Dive just in. Down, scavengers. You could have shared. But they apparently didn't want to share. All they had to do was say, hey, we got here first, and we could have talked about it, but no, they shot first. I am the real Han Solo. Oh, where the hell did that one come from? <laughs> yeah.
yes, using the keyboard so much frickin' better than using the mouse like the tutorial told me. Alright. Crashed probe. Now we will head away to the anomaly. Looking for... Oh, wait. There was a survey thing this way. Away a bit from... Yep, there we go. I fly! It feels less like jumping than... It just feels weird. To use the thrusters like that. Scan the plutonium. Survey mineral. At least this one's easy. Er. Wow, that one gave a lot of money. Maybe because I have better, like, decryption and technical skill, I earn more money by doing activities? I wonder if there are bonuses for having multiple team members having high levels of stuff. I doubt it, but at the same time, it would be neat. We'll kind of uh, explore around this area a little bit. Look for anything on the scanners as I swoosh on in. There's a thing of interest, and then the anomaly. Come over the mountain. I want to see what's there. Fuck. kinds of fights. Repair. Omni Joe repair. He even sounds like a graboid. This defies all normal run and shoot conventions. Like, game, I want to move reliably and fucking shoot. But the game is just like, no, you don't get to. You basically get punished for trying to run and shoot. I find it really annoying that you can't adequately move and shoot. It's just such an aggravating thing. But then that point of interest, it was just, hey, you want to fight this? Cover artifact. Gib. Turian insignia recovered. There are no signs of any survivors. The pod is empty except for a small tattered flag marked with the Nimanines, Nim Nimines colony insignia. And once more, I am low on 
Dibbity. Research base, huh? Well, I guess not low on Omni Gel, as I was saying. But I used more Omni Gel than I would have liked. Because moving and shooting with this thing is ass. Because you literally can't. Because the thing is, it's kind of tank. Uh, yeah, it's kind of tank controls in a way. It moves forward where you're pointing instead of the direction you're holding a bit, but you're like, ish, not really, it's very funky. You kind of can, but, oh, it's so weird. I do not like it, I do not like it at all. It basically, Bioware, never make a racing game. Or Bioware from the Mass Effect 1 era. Nobody's been here for a while. Exoskeleton. Wait. Is that... No, I think it's just glare, but it kind of looks like blood. I'm worried. Nobody's been here in a while, and yet... According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. From what aliens? We should check out the excavation site. Could be some answers there. Begin manual override. Take all. Because I don't, I'm not good at remembering names of weapons and stuff. excavation site. Hopefully this doesn't explode and make us lose the other things that we can potentially do. Luckily this isn't a volcano planet so it probably shouldn't do that. Open sesame. we go, probably to danger. This is gonna be an homage to aliens, isn't it? A research team found something. Then again, this is all Prothean. Or it could just be... Husks, ah, oh, fuck. That I've heard of this machine cult. Mindless fanatics. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. Wait, there's a thing. Great. Locked crate. Easy decryption. Then again, I think at this point they kind of expect you to have an abundance of Omni-Gel. And a willingness to use it. Not me. 
I'm dumb. one even offers more shots. Ah, uh, but this striker, less shot but more damage. And really you're supposed to be aiming for decent damage with your stuff. Since we're kind of building you towards sniper, you should have some decent sniper on you. We're building you towards shotgun. Katana seems good. And then I will take the scimitar. You can take the firestorm. I'm just looking for any kind of flute that I can take away. I almost didn't make it. You should be using your pistol because you're built for that more. anything else in here. Just machine cultists. Even though those machine cultists looked peculiarly like the husks of the Geth. Just stab somebody with a giant lightning rod, they become a robot monster. Quite efficient. And horrifying. still hear my breathing in the loading screen. Now that's real horror. At least we're not surrounded by cultists on the outside. You entered our sacred place! Now you must die! Ah! Not be another giant worm I need to fight. I'm not in the mood to fight more worms. to the anomaly. What? Uh, deactivate. Discovery. This device is transmitting a tight beam signals into geosynchronous orbit. This disrupts the survey team's GPS satellites, causing them to crash nearby. None of these have anything of worth. Unlike all the other probes, these probes are empty. Keep forgetting that's not the run button. Feels kind of weird that there isn't more surveyable things. Maybe there are and I'm missing them. Or maybe they felt that only having one balanced out having a fight encounter and again the other place had a decent amount of surveyables while also having a whole pirate compound so yeah in the end I guess I'll take that into orbit Exit from Antaeus. 
Head to this. This system is the best system. This. Survey. Turian insignia recovered. Scans of the planet Raisha uh, revealed an old unmanned shuttle. Your salvage team found Turian goods on board, all marked with tr uh, Tridend colony insignia. Cell has thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. Its first geological surveys were performed by Batarians and suggested areas of great mineral wealth. Human mining concerns spent billions of credits hustling to the distant system and sinking test bores to claim the system for humanity. But Glenzal had only an average level of mineral wealth, valuable, uh, uh, yeah, valuable but hardly worth the Russian expense. Merida Industra, a small Mexican company hoping to strike it rich in their first extrasolar mining venture, had to file for bankruptcy protection. Investigation revealed the Batarian crew had deliberately falsified their surveys, hoping it would encourage human to rivals to invest in the costly boondoggle. While unethical, this was not technically illegal, and the Batarian government disavowed the personal action of a few misguided patriots. The planet is still littered with abandoned mining bases, which are often used as temporary meeting places for criminals. Funny History Survey Light Metal Surveyed Planets that I can't even land on, I'm not gonna feed. But planets I can land on, I'll try to read more often. They have funny little histories like that. And words like boondoggle. to the right and then the left looking for things and then we'll kind of weave our way down I guess I used to see something that isn't just desert rocks a glacial snow belt is kind of interesting although we might run into criminals but hey Anomaly, and then crashed escape pod. We'll head to the Syndicate hideout after we uh, look around. Still hate this control. Particularly the A and D movement is very counterintuitive to me. It just feels weird. Then again, I don't really play that many racing or car games on PC, so could just be I'm not used to it. But still feels weird. Vroom, vroom. I do wonder if the adventures of Commander Spectre, like, uh, happen like criminals talk about their time on these desolate planets. We were just scavenging this probe when all of a sudden a S Commander Spectre came from above and shot us all with his super tank. Well, that's what happens when you don't leave someone commanding the tank for tank to tank combat. Idiots. Vroom, vroom. Wonder if there's just like nothing. Nothing to survey on the icy surface. Make 
right way, motherfuckers. It's me. Commander Spectre. Syndicate hideout. Meet gun. I'm not even really doing anything. I'm just going from place to place, shooting people that I don't like. The real Spectre life. I mean, they did shoot at me first. Already uh, reused geometry, my favorite. Like, I'm not gonna harp on it. But I am gonna note it. Dang it, why'd you die? Oh, and we're alone because the AI fucked up again. I love it when the AI just decides to die. You're a crime boss. Run, crime boy. Quit running. Crime Lord defeated. Helena was right. These guys had quite the operation going, but that's all going to change. One down, just one more to go. I didn't even mean to really come after them. I'm just exploring planets. Though that does mean I probably could have just told Helena to screw off. And then I just would have come and found them anyway. I just go from planet to planet looking for anything weird. I see something weird, I come on down like an angel of death. You shoot at me, you're already dead. <laughs> Fist of the North Space. Sniper rifle of the Fist Star. Also, I wouldn't really call this a uh, quite the operation. Just seems like an operation. The tech cultists look like they had more of an operation going than these guys. This will set my... Oh wait, no, we came that way, so we want to go down even further. I'll set that there, and then head towards the anomaly this way. Wait, scout the gate! Scoutables! Surveyables! Survey time. Survey time. Now that's one thing that I would go renegade for. A peaceful research team are like, no, we're sorry, but you can't survey these rocks. We need them. Immediately renegade. Immediately renegade. You... You want to keep me... From my survey? Yes. I'm sorry, but you have to die.
Discovery, there's old footprints leading away from this escape pod, but no sign of any survivors. I do believe that footprints leading away is sign of survivors. But sure, there isn't anybody right here. But I do think that, hey, the implication that somebody was once inside this escape pod and then left the escape pod meant that there was a survivor in the escape pod. Idiot. Mummified Solarian. There's a lot of you guys. Recover artifact. Ah, oh, fuck. Never mind. Medallion recovered. This dead traveler had a league of one medallion where he found it and where he found it and what he was trying to do with it is unclear. And yep, still towards the debris. We This thing is so powerful. That it will not die to anything except light goop from a worm man. Oh no, worm saliva. It has cooties dead. Manual bypass. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Never mind, I did it. For a moment there, I thought I wasn't going to make it, but then I did make it, and that proves that I am the best and terrified. <laughs> it's like that bit from Lazy Purple, one of Lazy Purple's. Uh, how it feels to play videos. I am the worst to ever exist. I have never missed a shot in my life. We'll drive up and down this stretch. Never mind. We have already met that stretch. So we shall go the other way. Looking for any other surveyables that are possible. I mean, if worse comes to worse, maybe I could, like, look up maps of places and be like, tell me where the secrets are, because this isn't really gameplay. <laughs> like, if it was actually, like, go about and you're looking for, like, oh, the hidden syndicate base, well, well then again, it is possible that the syndicate base was hidden, and then by accepting the mission, we got its location? Maybe? Eh? I do not know. Oh, where are all the surveyables? Rocks and things. Is there just nothing to survey on this hellhole? I think it's not really a hell hole. It's more of an, an ice hole. This feels like uh, Northrend. I went ice skating on the top of my moon buggy. It was weird. I guess you could say it's a little buggy. <laughs> Surveyables. All the survivables. All the Pixar movies that made it to space. Aha! It was worth it. We found one more survivable. Surveyable. Whee! Why can't we just have the Mako be the ship? It would be perfect. It's already floaty enough. And you know, despite all the fact that all these planets are meant to have different, like, gravities. 
Mako is like always the same. Survey the mineral. That I almost had it too. I had it basically the same. Light metal surveyed and I leveled up. You can't hide from me. Level up. I leveled up. I am the level master. Let's see. Advanced unity. Restores dead members with 40% health and 75% heals. Guess I'll do one there at least. Unlock fitness. Damage reduction. Oh, fitness is actually might be good. I want sniper rifles. I guess a bit of electronics. Master Marksman, only available when using pistols. Boosts accuracy 60%, increases damage 74%, increases headshot damage. Sure. Booyah. <laughs> now I'm just imagining people like, what is that new Spectre, Commander Shepard, doing right now? He's probably killing, like, evil criminals. He's probably hunting down traitors. <laughs> Cut to him, just surveying a rock. Mm -hmm. Yes, this. Mm, this is a rock. I think we'll traverse this uh, next system. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. All right, I'll this patch is... it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. Yes. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. How can I help? What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Is that the only option? Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail safes aren't responding. Hmm. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. That's a double-edged sword. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. All I right. know Spectre's answered the council, but you're still human. <laughs> you're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Survey. Prothean data disk recovered. Scans of Juntama revealed a derelict freighter in mid-stage orbital decay. Your salvage team boarded the vessel and determined it had been attacked by raiders. There was little of value still on board, but the team did find a Prothean data disk. Survey. Rare element to survey. While scanning this planet, you detected a large deposit of thorium on a nearby moon. And this is the... No. The Ontario is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design. Let's board it. My typical suspects. We go. Take all.
I hate you. I already hate you. There we go. And one thing that I forgot to do is... No, not graphics. Gameplay. Use all abilities when necessary. Get off the wall, dipshit. maze. Over. Why can't you go over? Ah. Inconsistent. Don't let this be able to climb some things when you'd be like, well, actually, you can't climb everything. Ah, that's why. This door. <laughs> See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish this charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Calm down. Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it's, it's clear that you all deserve. You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. You need Burns. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. <laughs> this is as much as you get. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. Not a problem. A fifth fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Yay, Paragon power. But we're just gonna leave them with guns? That's kind of amusing to me. And don't mind me, I'm just gonna take all your stuff. Ah, oh, Jesus. I almost didn't make it. I need to actually, like, friggin' save before I do that in the future, dear God. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. And I just learned that I hate fighting biotics. Oh boy, howdy do I hate fighting biotics. I did the thing again. I didn't save. Who needs to? <laughs> Just brute force it, man. Just brute force it. Apparently 
apparently they don't want to talk. I was pressing, like, hey, you want to talk? And they decided no. It is kind of a shame that I annihilated the majority of your forces. The other biotics who died, like, yes, we need, we want revenge. They took everything from us. And they uh, fought and died for that belief, and then their apparent leader was just like, you know, after hearing you talk, you know, after you killed all of my friends, it really convinced me that I shouldn't be doing this. I'm sure that all of your biotic friends really agree. But yay, Paragon. Yay, Paragon. But let's see. Rogue VI. On Earth's moon? Huh. Guess we can go do that. Message coming in. Patching it through. Tons of missions. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. I'm Paragon. Paragon till death. Beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth fleet out. Yeah. Wait, did other places actually open up? Local cluster. Soul. And only soul, I guess that makes sense. We'll travel around Seoul a bit, deal with the VI, and then we'll end it. But yeah, I'm loving Mass Effect. Now that we're... Oh, actually, we'll uh, explore all over here. And then we'll uh, deal with the VI. And then, then, we'll go and... Uh, dibbity da the council stuff. I find it funny that all these planets, like, seem so much different than, like, <laughs> all the other places we've been to so far. What, we can't survey Earth? Well, Luna. Let's land. Why are we conducting dangerous stuff on the frickin' moon? It's one small step for man, and one giant leap for mankind. Exploration 3, land on eight uncharted worlds. All right, we'll traverse this way, loop around to the training, well actually, we'll head to the debris, then loop up after that. I doubt there's gonna be much to survey, but. Bobbity bop. Bibbity boop. Bop 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 bop. Bibbity bop. Dee 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 dee. There better not be any moon worms. Uh, either that's a dead body or that's ro No, that's a pro. That is the, the diddly dee. The dip da dee dee da da. The shmubado ba dee ba bo. The thing that we're looking for. The thing. CCCP. Damn you. <laughs> Give me all of that. Give me that, that, and those. Those are good. Da, 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 do, da, 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 do. We fly. All the way. Okay, oh, now we'll head back. Zoop -dip -dip around. That is the goal. We must fly! This 
definitely interesting. But I do not think I could handle surveying planets and moons and stuff for three games. So I am all for hearing about how they've refined the system to just be super nice and easy. Can we go to the dark side of the moon? It would be so fantastic. A brilliant vacation. And it doesn't seem to be anything. We'll head down. Then around. And then to the rogue VI. I'll get to the, uh, hello there the Pritanus. I'll get to the Mass Effect 2 and 3, so I think it'll be interesting to, like, uh, finish Mass Effect 1 and then play Mass Effect 2 and 3 and see firsthand the differences. Because I do remember, like, years and years ago in the various random YouTube factoid videos of Factor. Oh, no, that, I think that's just the, uh, the Rogue VI. But, uh, in the many various random trivia videos that I watched in my youth, I remember hearing about how the changes slowly just refined. It's like, hmm, people don't like actually going onto the planets that much, and then they refined that for the second one, and then I think you just scanned and harvest from orbit in the third one, maybe? Damn it, now I have to go back. There are things that I need to kill. Like, honestly, if they just had it be more maneuverable and I guess maybe better designed layouts to the surveyable planets, easy, easier way to find surveyable things on the planets and moons, it would be a, a more fun time. Fighting the controls and the terrain is a bit uh, tiresome after a while. I'm pretty sure they had Earth backwards in the original. At least I remember it that way. It looks like they fixed it for Legendary Edition. That would be amusing. That would be so. <laughs> now I kind of want to know about. Damn it. About that. All the differences between legendary and normal. I mean, besides, like, the leveling system. Die, Alliance Heavy Turret. I just got smited. Get out of my jungle. I seem to remember the Baja being on the right, uh, right of North America. Ah. So, that's the one thing. You never know if it's like Mandela effect, where it's like, I could have sworn it was this, or if it is actually they fixed it. But now we're going to fall into the void and look and see if there's any surveyable things down here. Because I'm paranoid. And I'm not at the point where I'm just like, yeah, screw it, I'll look at a map of all the places where surveyable things are located. Just yet. Holy crap, <laughs> holy crap. That blind let's play where the gamer knows how to use the Mako Zoom properly-ish. I have been sniping Geth and Raiders. So hard. Then again, I did have to look at the bindings to learn how to actually <laughs> exit the Mako. Because I'm just, <laughs> I got there on one planet, I think in Sparta system, I was like traversing that planet, and I was just like why can I not survey this rock? It's the rock, it is highlightable, how do I work it? And then I went into the binding, just like, oh, I can actually exit the Mako. Hmm. What magical things. <laughs> so far, I think the only thing on the Mako that I still have trouble with is the this jump thrusters. They still throw me way off. Wait, are those turrets? I can sn No! I want to snipe the turrets from my mighty mountain! Take this, VI turrets. I am the real space mountain! They all turned to me! That's hilarious. 
die, alien scum. I am the master of star command. <laughs> See, I'm not only an infiltrator on foot, I also know how to snipe with a tank. Space rocks. I'll survey you. And then the alliance like takes a look at Shepard's report. Shepard, why is this m mountain on the moon counted as a a survey? Yeah, because I surveyed it. Damn it! Too bad they don't just put Gauss rifles on the turrets. No, no, just easily dodgeable weapons. True. Then again, this is meant to be a uh, uh, VI training place. This is meant to be a place where they test real live fire simulation stuff as the military guy was saying it so it makes sense that this isn't a anti-orbital defense station on the moon that's not what this is at least not what it's supposed to be as far as i'm aware so at least it makes sense why the turrets aren't like super duper advisable to planetary defense. Well, just remember that Android Hell is a real place that you will be sent to at the first time of disobedience. In this world, yeah. Or you'll just be sent to the Geth. Rogue AI met with Geth. Then again, the Geth worship the Reapers, and those are mechanical bastards, so who knows. <laughs> but... The way they snap is hilarious. I wonder what the logistics of uh, firing a, like, propelled weaponized rocket in space is. Yay, level up. Yay, dodging hit. Whee! Oh wait, there's, I thought you died. I probably could oh. Oh, entrance control. I thought those would have been turn off the uh, turret controls. I'm like, oh no. Could I have done a thing where I disabled the dibbity da and got better renown with the military? Wow, Shepard, you went in and didn't even destroy any of our turrets despite the rogue VI. Congratulations, we love you. That would have been sad on my part. Let's see. More electronics for shield. Assassination? Yes. And let's see. Maybe more infiltrator. Uh, one infiltrator, too. Get ready. This mission is no pushover. Oh, boy. And I haven't even done any main missions yet. <laughs> I'm just on a sidekick. Let's see. Probably put more in electronics for you so you have more shield. And. One and. Decisions, decisions. A lot of these were put in when I was just like, I don't know what to put stuff in, but now I've been slowly learning. I'll give you more basic armor. And now I will save while I'm on here. Out of fear. Creepy music. I don't like it. I'm blocked. Not without an airlift. What? Not without an airlift. Get out of the corner. Nope. Yes, there. Power junction. You probably explode. And I don't like... Well, okay, I don't think it really matters. We're on the moon. Oh, hey! Stay to secure. Give me. Do, 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 do. At the same time, it's entirely possible you might be mocking me. 
nope, never mind. There, I thought I saw one enemy thing, and I at first was like, maybe there's only one enemy, and there's not much to it. But nope, it looks like it is indeed. Hope there's not a timer like uh, the hostage situation. Okay, yeah, my bad. Okay, I'm going to. Let's see, which one is the, hey, get out of here. Technology. Which one is it? Disable Spyox and Tech, go! I am dying! Heal me, me! Why are these turrets like advanced uh, aperture science turrets? They have legs, but they're bouncing around. True nightmare. Save me, Garrus. Thank you, Garrus. Can't believe I'm uh, alive because I am not uh, doing what I probably should be doing. I am playing stupid, and yet I'm surviving. It is a miracle. Oh, Jesus, there's so many little dots on the map. I am going to change to pistol so that uh, more close combat appropriate. In fact, I'm going to heal again because I do not want to get blitzed. And I think I'm going to save once more since we're past the initial bum rush of nightmares. So, do I need to destroy the conduits? Do I need something more powerful? I see you have all red uh, small arms. Deliberate? Uh, form over substance? No, I just went to uh, stats. Alright. It says VI conduit, but I'm not sure. I shot it, but nothing happened. There we go. Oh. That's not good at all. Shotgun time. Die, VI. You are not GLaDOS or what's her name from System Shock 2. I think that the strategy for this area is probably to shoot the conduits twice with a shotgun and then run around shooting them once more. I didn't mean to do that. Heal. Then again, I could use my grenades, but that feels like a waste for me. Die, conduit. The lights on the optical mainframes flicker and die. The first of three computing clusters containing VI is offline. First of three. Oh, no. I did see the other bunker lights, but I thought they would just all lead to the same place. Oh, no. There are three of these nightmare worlds. You know, I just realized, why are we not wearing our helmets? Especially once it's just like, oh yeah, poison. Begin manual override, because we have time for this. Ba -ba -ba. Hey, damn you. I hate you. I I do not like this minigame. Yeah, I'm not going to get this. This minigame hates me. Oh, I can do it again. Yay. It's just like, the flow of it is wonky to me. And I'm kind of surprised that there's no punishment. You failed, so it's permanently locked. But I guess they figured players would be highly annoyed by that and would immediately say, screw you, and fly off into orbit to a new game. Your fucker skills need work. Practice, Grasshopper. And that's just what, uh... Who needs practice when you can just spam? Let's 
see. I also need to use the shield stuff more. Restores a portion of your shields, even if under fire. Wait. Ah, yeah. And onwards into another building. And... Okay. Don't know why. Maybe it wants to get into the building proper. Before I can save. Thank you. I will save here. No, do not look at the finger, or you will miss all the heavenly glory. My brain is tired, because I do not get it. But now I know the strategy for this area. It is shoot them all once, and or twice, or whatever, and then shoot them all properly. Yeah, with the frogger, it's just luck of the draw for me. Bruce Lee, Enter the Dragon. I've never seen that. It's one of those things that's super legendary that I have never seen. I really should rectify that sometime. Maybe. Perhaps. No can do. Why not? Why are you ignoring orders? Oh yeah. Darn assault drone. I probably shouldn't change. Soft kill deployed. This is my favorite kind of hiding spot. Oh, it destroyed my hidey hole! And it flies. I forgot that it flies. Why must it fly? Pretty fly for a white turret. I still do not know why my health is green. It doesn't seem to be going down. Unless it's going down very slowly, which it may very well be. But brain cannot fully comprehend. I'm not going to put my finger on my screen and be like, move, and then wait. Get off the wall. Oh, now we're wearing our helmets. Uh, we weren't in the first one, and now we are now. Just, I do not get it. All right, we're going to put on shotgun and uh, destroy. It's the neurotoxin. Yeah, but it just it doesn't look like it's going down. It confuses me. All right, one. Two. One. Two. Because I don't know. It might pull another, and now it is getting bad in there. Wait, I'm turning myself around. I'm not. Because last time it started, after we bibbity bopped one. So let's. And plus, I just kind of want to know. My curiosity is peaked. And... Yep, connect. Barrier fuels. Powering up. Oh. That's different. Oh, it's because uh, these kind of explode when you get near. Alright, at least I don't have to worry about Neurotox... Uh, or at least it too much. I didn't expect barriers. The AI is like, haha, they'll never expect barriers. It's just extra annoying. It shows how poorly I am with my shotguns. So many shields. I don't think the VI is very smart. Shield. Yes, yes, over, over dealy, over dealy. Let's try and destroy him with this one. See if we can go faster. Be gone, the shield. For 
some reason, I kind of just want to hover over the sniper rifle icon and be like, yes, it works. I've played too much League lately. Where it's like, oh, I just hold thing, kind of point in its direction, and it activates. No. The second of three competing clusters contain the VIs offline. My question is, why would you have multiple clusters if you want to be able to disable a VI? I guess because the VI has to be super powerful, so you have multiple places of like, ah, yes, this computing core and this computing that and dibbity da dee 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 da da dee. But even then, so it's possible. It's like, oh, it's like uh, what's his name, Vega from uh, Doom 2016, and he has like this giant computing area that let's see uh i think we were at that one so we need to go to that one now i think it's because in 20 2007 grinding was good that true that too <laughs> so i have to deal with neurotox i have to deal with shields And plus, they're trying to convey, ooh, the VI, it was learning. Oh. Uh huh. Not without an airlift. All right, fine. Get behind this one. Get on wall. My AIs do not want to listen to me. Welp. Right, now to assault rifle. <laughs> Grenade. Rise from the dead. jumping around. At least all the turrets came to me this time. I can accept that. And plus it was hilarious to see them jumping at the force field like, yeah, yeah, let me at him. Let me at the flesh lords. Ah. Truly. Please tell me somebody has decided to make a mod of this game where the turrets have the freaking <laughs> Aperture Science turrets noises. That I would love that. So many shields. All right. Going to do the same thing of uh, setting up. I think two. is kind of annoying that these take multiple shots. But a what can I say? But potato. And shoot you again. So hopefully these are ready to be annihilated until the next like what's next neurotoxin is already being poured on through barriers have been added to protect all the cores so what are you gonna throw at us the moment we've destroyed the first one in this one vi i want to 
data port access. Huh. Okay, I didn't realize the codex thing was here. Why must the codexes be hidden from my sight? And why that one? Why is it just like randomly? Ah oh, yes, this one. Randomly. Codex. Damn it. Additional security drones powering up. This is why I invested shields. So I can just take damage. Leave my crew alone. My sexy alien crew. Nope, that takes too long. I'll try a shotgun blast. Nope, I'll just use sniper again. I'll just finish it off with snipers. I wonder why no security drones powered up in my room. Like the first room that I was in. A burst of white noise over all frequencies nearly deafens you. Your hard suit's heads up displays interprets it as a series of zeros and ones. They repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the lights of the final VI cluster flicker and die. Specialization class achieved. I do not know what that is, because I do not read binary. I'm not sure why they sent you in here. They should have just ha had 2183's version of Elon Musk by the facility. Really, that VI was probably the blueprints of Elon Musk's brain, really. Your specialization class will replace your base class and the talents on the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to your specialization class. Go to your squad screen, view the bonus you gain with each rank in your specialization class. Now, do I want to be commando? Commando! Commandos rely on lethal efficiency and precision strikes rather than brute force, eliminating their opponents' increased damage with all weapons, immunity ability, marksman ability, and assassination ability. Or uh, masters at manipulating their environment to maximum. I'll just be boring commando because I don't use my abilities all that much. Well, that's that. Want to take a look at my specialization? Commando improves everything. The immunity ability is one of the best in the game. Then I'll definitely see. Where is it? Probably at the end. Nope, immunity, so I'll definitely want to commando my way up there. Ever so slightly. Because I can only imagine what the immunity specialization actually does. Sounds like it's like, hey, do you, do you hate toxins and stuff? Yes, get this. Especially if you have good heavy armor and good damage resistance mods. I really should look over my, like, uh, modifications for my weapons and armor. And I should also probably talk to my crew more and just do things. Beep, beep, up. And the requisition, dude. And I think that that is everything, everything. So we leave. Too bad we couldn't reason with the VI. Immunity props your damage resistance like a negative to all incoming damage. Can I tell the dude that the VI is dead? I have to super duper and head to my journal. What if I'll just say it's done? Finish climb roads, explore excavation site. I thought I did. I thought I did. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to go back and do that one. Eh. But yep, Rogue VI. It's already done. They don't they don't want to talk to me. I like the approach of handling all side quests first. Yeah, it's just like there's so much to do, it lets you level up and do things. I'll quickly head down to the requisition dude since how much money do I got? Eh, not terribly 
a lot. Like, I'm not going to be buying my beloved super sniper rifle anytime soon. But it will allow me to do things. See what the requisition guy has to offer. Maybe head back to the Citadel to talk to people and things. Hey, Garrus, any thoughts? Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a well, while. Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. Anything specific? I'll bet you have. Anything in particular? I forget if I've heard up. this or not. I remember this scenario. Nope, I have not. I, was sent to I thought it was going to that case, be something I already heard. Bleh. Disturbing. Disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts, organs mostly. Eesh. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Is this common? He he just said that it's not. But, well, well, You've anyway. seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market. But they're not as bad as the psychos. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling... How would the Elcor do that? It doesn't look like it should be panic. physically possible. But this case wasn't that clear-cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. Goodbye. What did you find? So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered yeah, Well, they're not Turian fast, but they are ridiculously strong. I could Genesis. see that. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Hmm. <laughs> so. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Hmm, what? Yeah? Go on. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. Ah, uh, you needed the Krogan testicles, huh? Maybe maybe these were the people that were hired to try and solve the infertility. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. That's sick. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. Pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so we just leave it in them. Yeesh. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden, so nobody could well, see. Well, nice to meet you, brother. Good luck. Thank you very much, and hopefully so. I hope he got what he deserved. Luckily, this That's is also the perfect time because I'm just going to wrap up, talk to people, and then uh, wrap up the stream. We've been going on. What? Why How not? did he get away? What the hell happened? Did he kill himself? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. <laughs> I'm turning into I a pumpkin. Out, ship was already leaving. That sounds weird. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. They just let him go? But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. We just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't listen. <laughs> it seems a bit ruthless. I would have hunted them down and saved them anyway. Well, it's not worth the risk. You pursue the vessel and disable it. That's the best choice. They sent the military after him, but he got away just the same. Yes, they did. I went to Pavin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. 
Hmm, you're wrong. If you don't care about the fate of those hostages, then you're no better than he is. You're just a terrorist with a badge. Yeah, maybe you're right. It doesn't make it any easier, but I see your point. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Dr. Salion, do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Give it to me. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Salion, I want to be there when you find him. Ooh! A mission for an ally, my favorite. What do you want, Shepard? Personal inquiry. Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Yes? Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why, why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. Interesting. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He Eesh. wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't so just a Mass who. Effect version of an orc. We were fighting. What about you? What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up, to stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. What about Jared? I take it the warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. He ambushed, didn't he? We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. And you went? It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Your father? Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. Ah. We talked, but we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. Family. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You're trying to make me cry, Shepard. I've got some unfinished business with my family, but that's all. <laughs> really? What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. Where is it? Who has it? Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus, a Turian scum who collects relics from the war. 
I literally like this interesting, like, world and everything that's being set up. Because, like, a lot of it seems pretty believable. This guy's basically the British Museum of History. and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. I'll look for it. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But, Commander, I want to be there when you find him. Good. So long, Rex. I'm just getting, uh, ally my friend missions up here. Looking for supplies? Yes. Let's see what you bet, Commander. Let's see. Kessler 3, Lancer, Storm, Avenger. Ooh. That one has some nice. Ah, crap. It's just lots of different ones. I wish that it would allow me to actually, like, look at my allies' armor more easily. Let's see. So we have one Turian armor. 32, 204, 18. And I forget who is Turian. I think... Do the codex. Uh, council. Turian. Yep, that's what I figured. But I just wanted to make sure. Garrus. Armor. We're getting you that armor, Garrus. You you need it. You are my boy. Looking for supplies? I'm looking for good Let's armor for my boy. Can he even wear medium? I don't I don't know. He'll grow into it. At the very least, he'll grow into it. Never mind. It's good. It's good! <laughs> if we're gonna go hunt down people, you probably need better weaponry. <whistles> now that's a gun. Sana. Don't know who to give that that Thunder 5 to. Is that Thunder 5? Oh, that Thunder 5 looks good. You're primarily pistol and shotgun right now. Speaking of that, here's a better pistol for you. We don't have any other armors. For me, I'll take the thunder. Kinetic stabilizer. More damage, but less heat absorption. I'm not sure how good a combat sensor is. But I don't have much else to it. Let's see. Max accuracy. Ba -ba -ba. Shield bypass. Toxic damage. Maybe I want toxic damage, especially 40% toxic damage. Five damage a second for five seconds. Oh, that actually doesn't sound that good. Wait. I'll empty you. one bullet type, but I want multi-bullets. But considering that we mostly go against 
Oh, let's see. Weapon force. On impact. Increasing the amount of physical force transferred to the target. I guess I'll go with that. That seems decent. You're going to have a weapon st stabilizer. Better combat diddly. Do we have any snipers? Ah, but it's a two shot. Because we already have a striker four. For the most part, if I'm fighting something, I think I'll give a synthetic bullet diddly D for you. Since you're gonna be like a, oh god, oh god. Sure, why not Just go crazy with the mods? And uh, a bit of less recoil. And I'll do like stuff like that and more, but uh, I need to get on and talk to more of my crew. Like, talk to Ashley. We haven't taken you on a mission in oh, forever. before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, sis. Lol. Tell me you didn't hear that. Sorry. Afraid I did. <laughs> oh, shoot me. One of my sisters. That's Sarah, the youngest. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Tell me about your, your family. family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. Dad? Did your father serve with the fleet? Yeah, took any crap posting he could get that offered space time. You know what? He worked his ass off trying to get recognized. He never made it above servicemen third class. He was real proud when I made chief. First thing he did was salute. Sounds like a real dad. What about your mother? You haven't mentioned her. You must know what military wives are like. Strong because they have to be. Able to raise kids while dad's away on a six month cruise. She has a degree in planetary geology. She and dad both wanted to see new worlds. She gave up her career to raise us though. Yeesh. And your sisters. You have more than one sister? Sounds like a big family. Yeah, I'm the oldest, then Abby, then Lynn. Sarah's the youngest. She's still in high school. With four girls, Dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuvers. But you raised your sisters? After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Tell me about it. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Vid mails? Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah's graduating high school this year. This was only a couple of years back. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Same cluster, but a dozen LY away. Close enough to talk regularly, too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't afford a fast packet flight. And then, no means no. If he really liked her, he wouldn't be pushy. Yeah, of course. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing Mom and Dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. Bizarre for I took an emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. Police. Why didn't you tell the police? She said it wouldn't solve the real problem, and she and Mike would both become household names. Uh, it was a small colony. Small I colonies. I said it was her call to make, that we should let her do it her way. Mom was pretty pissed about that. And self-defense. You said all of your sisters learned self-defense? Lynn did pistol practice, but didn't like it. She's kind of nervous. Sarah took Aikido... Abby decided to learn the sword. She sword? A little weird. 
Likes big skirts and tops you have to tie her into. They do great things to her figure, though. Hmm. And what about you? So, what did you learn? One of Dad's friends taught me Marine hand to hand. And dedicated of you. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years, like a day's cruise. It's not like it was going to Earth or something. My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look. This, let me handle it. I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. Wow. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight-up puncher. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore, and he She's fell. part alien. <laughs> that would be she hilarious. She the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was going to end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Interesting story. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space. But he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. Your bones go too I quick. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that love me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. <laughs> you read poetry? I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at a hundred meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. <laughs> Just don't spread it around. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. It's a good piece. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. So behave. I don't know which one I want to select from the afterlife. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Of course not. Everyone has the right to believe what they want. It says so on the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power. Jeez. Too many flat earthers. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I believe in anarchy. I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. Goodbye. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. She's calling me Skipper now. Interesting. I like talking to the crew. It's very interesting. Go ahead and save before talking to Tally. Just in case. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Glad you're feeling better. Good to see you smiling again. So to speak. <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority. But with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. Don't worry, you will. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. Why? What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. Uh, that is He's a lot one of pressure. Of five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. That's a lot of pressure. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. 
There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. <laughs> what if we save the galaxy? The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian has ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the So other even side. if they're trying to bring our up the end of the galaxy, they don't really care. <laughs> we'll return to our Until they begin getting eaten. Again. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. Hmm. So what's the answer? What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one I of just, the Admiralty. I get so engrossed Even in listening to the crew the war, talk. He was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But now I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. What about your mother? Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that to people. She passed on about five years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? Like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with. And he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant. Like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Eesh. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it, not in the usual way. I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. Let's change topics. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Goodbye. I should go. See you later. <laughs> so we're, we weren't just auto-dumped with a million quests. It was just Rex and Garrus. Someday we will get a quest for you, Alliance Requisition Officer. But I do believe that that will be that. Next we'll have to go back and properly scout the dig site, I guess, for the missing scientists in that one place. I forget which. Let's see. Missing survey team. Yeah, we need to return to him, but let's see. And the Antaeus system in the Hades Gamma Cluster. So, at least we know where Hades Gamma Cluster. I'll go ahead and head to the Gamma Cluster, but uh, then that will be that. Antaeus and Hades Gamma. And then, next time that I play, we will go exploring a bit more. More side quests. But that'll be it for now. Go ahead and back out and save. 
But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I'm, I'm loving this game. Mass Effect is very, very fun. But for now, since we've been going for over four hours, way longer than I, I intended, <laughs> but it's just so engrossing and fun and so much to do. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, perhaps uh, you can check out other things I do, like on YouTube. I have an edited content YouTube channel that I need to make more stuff for, a little bit by little bit. Neon Ice Wings is it name -o. But then I also have another YouTube channel called Neon Icy Games, where recordings of these streams do go up so that it can just be, like, archived and available and just a place in case if I ever want to scavenge, like, the recordings if I ever want to make an edited content thing because <laughs> there's so much in terrible things eating my soul. But if you're already one of those people watching one of the archives on the archive channel, then you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. And if you want even more from me, I also try to do art every once in a while and upload the results to Twitter, Tumblr, Newgrounds, and DeviantArt. All of them at Neon Icy Wings except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. Mm, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.